So let's begin with the easiest one to wrap your head around and it is always the base layer of any NFT and that is the art. We've seen this a lot already. NFTs that sole value resides in the art. Very much like what physical art comprises of. People love collecting digital art for the same reasons people love collecting physical art. A mixture of nostalgia, patronage, status, beauty, investments, and just for the love of collecting. Also, just like physical art, the artist, rarity, and even who it used to belong to make them more valuable. Examples of these types of NFTs are the pioneers, CryptoPunks, that were the first NFTs ever developed, creating 10,000 unique characters with some traits being more rare than others. Renowned artists such as Beeple, that has been creating a unique piece of surreal art every day for many years. Banksy, who recently made a digital copy of the original physical piece you created and then destroyed it so only the authentic digital one exists. And also big franchises such as Disney, Marvel, Universal Studios and many more are getting involved. But unlike physical art, which does nothing besides from hanging on the wall or sitting on a pedestal, some of these NFTs could potentially have utilities added to them in the future. And this is exactly what I'll be diving deeper into and explaining as simply as I can in this series. Up next, I'll be divulging into music and how NFTs are going to play their part.